Mark. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, it's uh, Mike Newman again from Illinois Prep Harrier. Guess what? We're back. Monday morning finish line. Um, it's uh, the first week of January, and we thought that we'd get this started a little bit early this year. Hey, um, we did it in cross country. I've uh, gotten a lot of great feedback with this, so we decided to keep on going with this. Um, a lot of things have happened since um, we've last talked. And I think we talked last time before regionals. We've gone through a state meet where we had some great state races. In the next few weeks, I'll get the uh, last miles or the finishes of all six races. I was on the uh, lead truck, and we'll get those onto YouTube and so that you can see how exciting it was if you weren't there. If you were there, you can just relive the uh, excitement of uh, that November day in uh, Detweiler Park. So, um, one of the big exciting news is, uh, uh, one of the big things that we'd like to talk about is um, at the end of the month, beginning of February, um, Illinois Prep Harrier is still going to be around, um, but we're going to be moving. And where are we going to be moving to? We're going to be moving to, um, well, Dystat, Dystat Illinois. Um, Runner Space um, purchased the assets for Dystat. And there's supposed to be something behind me right now, but there's nothing. Oh, pss. What? It's backwards. Die stat. Okay, that's Isn't not. Isn't it pretty? That's not, that's not funny. Okay, get it out. Get it out of there. <laughs> Megan. Jeez, <laughs> um, oh why did I even. Keep going. You're going to disappoint people. Yes, I am. Um, any case, um, there'll be a lot of great things with Dystat Illinois. It's not going to be the same as it has been in the past. Um, we have a lot of interesting new features that we are looking forward to um, springing towards you with, when the uh, site goes live. Um, but we'd like to thank Runner Space. Uh, I'd like to thank Runner Space so much keeping um, the dream alive with uh, Dystat and everything that we do. Um, if there was one thing that you would want on the website, what would you want on the website? A lot more pink. For the girls' site. <laughs> for the Well, there's not going to be, it's going to be one big site. Well, the girls' part of the site. So I should make it pink. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. I'm not in charge of design, so. I should be, though. Okay, who thinks I should be in charge of designs? That would be a beautiful website. Just saying. Just saying. Um, any case, there was one meet over the weekend that we should bring up. Um, uh, the girls from the Illinois Elite Track Club went to um, uh, da, 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 not Waco College Station, Texas. Wendell, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, Texas A&M High School Invitational. Um, for some, it was the first races. And, you know, it's early in January, so, you know, outcome is important to get your, you know, legs underneath you race-wise. Um, but we saw some pretty good performances, um, and it was basically the girls, um, on the girls' side from Illinois. Um, Ailea Brown from, uh, Lincoln Way East, uh, the defending 200-meter champ and runner-up to Moorlake Akuson of, uh, Wabansi Valley last year in the 100, won the, um, 50, no, uh, the 55, no, 60-meter dash in, um, 7.55 seconds. Just missed her uh, meet record last year. She ran 7.46. So she just missed it by a little bit, but she's in good shape. She's raring to go. She came back in the 200 and um, ran 24.60. Also at the meet, um, Shamir Little of uh, Lindblom, um, triple um, state meet winner last year and got um, second in the 200 in uh, Class 2A, was uh, third in the 60-meter uh, high hurdles, um, ran 875 just missed the meet record by tw uh, 12 one hundredths of a second and got third. And um, then she came back in the 200 and was third behind Brown. Um, one runner to watch, um, great freshman, uh, Kayla Hilton, I believe, Kayla, I hope I got your name right. Of, um, she ran for the Illinois Elite Club. She's going to be a freshman at uh, Lincoln Way North High School. And she ran great. She ran a 780 for a freshman for 60 meters. That is outstanding. So we have another um, budding star um, in the making uh, on, in the south, in the south suburbs of Chicago. Um, also, I um, forgot to mention, in the long jump, uh, Ilya Harmon of um, uh, Rich Central. She was second place last year in the state meet in the long jump in 3A. Um, she 
she got second in the long jump here. Um, great performance, 18.4 and a half, I think it was. Um, so that's great. I think um, when you she jumped 19.2 at state. So your first meet of the year, in the new year, and you're jumping 18.4, that is outstanding. So, like I said, it's early in the year. The performances are um, important right now, but when does it count, Megan? Say state meet. State meet. In May, in Charleston. Yeah, so. Um, so that's about it. Um, we'll be announcing uh, many other things. Oh, also, um, Midwest Distance Festival is, um, it has been moved to Benedictine University. If you haven't seen the notices, um, we do have them on Illinois Prep Heritage. Check that out. And there's also a website um, for the meet at um, on runnerspace.com um, uh, slash uh, Midwest Distance Festival. So check that out. I know it's a long way off in June, but um, I'm already excited about the things that are happening with that. Did I forget anything? Yes. I have a special announcement move. Oh, no. Special announcement? Come on, don't you guys want to hear my special announcement? No. 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 Okay. I retract my previous statement about wanting to dye his hair blue. We're not going to dye... Shh, no, I'm not talking uh, about that. That's, that's we're not, really... We're not, no, we're not, really... not going to dye it blue. Thank goodness. We're going to dye it pink. Yeah, so if you guys think my dad should dye his hair like neon pink or hot pink or, you know, like the pink on my shirt, like, be a good idea. No. Yes. No. Yes. Say goodbye. Bye! Okay. Well, we're, we're not going to do this every week in January and February. We'll have one and most of the time without um, my daughter. What? Yeah. Not cool. In any case, um... We'll, we'll do one more in January, and then we'll start to pick up a little more steam in February and March. And then when we get outdoors, we'll be doing one every week, uh, maybe twice a week. We'll see how the action is um, going, and uh, we'll go from there. So if you have any comments, um, go to IllinoisPrepHarrier.wordpress.com, uh, and um, there is uh, information on how you can contact me. Or go to my Facebook page or follow the Twitter account or one way or the other. But um, thank you for your support last fall. It was um, an overwhelming success and I'm looking for some great things with um, Dystat Illinois. And Illinois Prep Air is still going to be around. Um, I'm going to do some interesting things with that this spring also. So stay tuned for that. So have a good night. Hope you had a great holiday and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oopsie.